in. This is really a, kind of like your white balance so on your camera if you know what that is. So here you can make the image kind of warmer and toggle it this way. So can you see it becomes really orange. Or if I brought it right back down this end, it would become really cool and really blue. And um, what I want to do with this image is I just want to make it a little bit, well, yeah, a little bit warmer. So then the whole image is kind of working together a bit better. And the tint, I want to pull it back a little. So I want to make it a, that little bit of that kind of purpler tone, which is picking up here in the pink of the glass. I'm going to click apply. Um, now I'm ready to insert another layer on top. So this time I want you to use your photographs of lettering because we're going to have a player and produce this David Carson style lettering. So first of all, you need to insert the photograph uh, of the text. So go into layer, add images layer, and then select uh, your text photo. Um, these photos work well if they have quite a plain background. You'll see what I mean when we start cutting them. Um, so if possible, um, I would start using your photographs that have quite a plain background behind the lettering. So I'm going to select uh, the alphabet letters, double click. Um, and then it's going to open up on top of my background image. Um, as you can see, you'll need to use your Arrange tool um, or your Move tool. So if we click the Arrange tool and then we can move it around in the space. Um, what I want to do is have the lettering quite big. So I'm going to um, pull these toggles out, move it around, probably even bigger than that and then I want these big defined letters here kind of at the bottom um, of my page so probably something like this it looks a little bit odd at the moment um, but then I'll show you the mask tool so we're happy with that uh, then we're ready to use this cutout or mask tool uh, you want to select that uh, oh, maybe press enter oh yeah press enter then you want to make sure that your layer is selected, so it's blue, and then you're going to use this uh, cutout or mask tool. Um, this is a fantastic tool, um, so you've got some different options up here. We aren't going to do a shape mask, so that's cutting out some shapes. We're going to use this called a magic mask. Um, it's magic because basically all the pixels of a similar colour. Um, there's a couple of different ones, so you could draw an area onto your picture and mask it. You can use a lasso, which is kind of selecting around an area, or a gradient mask. Um, we are gonna remove things from the mask. So this is our image layer here, and we're gonna take things away from it. Um, this tolerance is, is kind of how, um, how defined you want the edge, or how the computer is kind of picking the pixels. So if you made the tolerance really high, then it would only pick a really select a color of pixels. If you made the tolerance really low, it would probably select the whole image. So just have a little play around with it. Um, this feathering is also really useful. So if you were cutting out something that had more texture or is quite difficult to do, like hair, for example, you would want to feather the image, which means it kind of makes a fuzzy edge. As we're doing something graphic, um, and I want these sharp edges of the letters, I'm not going to add this feathering tool. So, all we want to do is cut away this plain background here behind the letters. Um, because it's a very plain, same coloured background, that's going to be really easy. So all I need to do is just click on the background, and then what it will do is select all of the pixels that have that same colour and it will take it away from that layer. So if I do that. And it does take a few minutes. 